course I got these uh, uh, bright green also golfing shorts and these are the bigger size this is size 40 and the price was even better it was only 7.49 what is good YouTube Adam over here and I got a thrift haul video to show you I went thrifting today and I found some items to resell on eBay and on Etsy I picked up few of clothing items but most of everything else is hard goods vintage items I don't sell much clothing anymore I used to sell way more clothing a couple years ago about 70% of what I sold was clothing but if I go thrifting I do go through the clothing aisles if I find an item with a good brand that I know that's gonna sell fast I do pick it up and why not it's easy money to be made so let me show you what I found and hopefully you can learn what to pick up when you go thrifting yard selling or even to estate sales and auctions so let's get started so let's go with the clothing item this is a cool piece these I got these because they were like brand new mint condition and very funky colors bigger size I think this is size uh, it says 36 not that big the price was 13 uh, 9, 49 I had uh, I had 30% off the brand I picked it up because it is the FJ brand this is a golf shorts for golfing uh, FJ sells very well for me uh, polo shirts FJ shoes and shorts so I'm thinking I can get about $30 for this so easy $20 uh, profits on that one and also in the same aisle with the shorts I got these uh, uh, bright green also golfing shorts and these are the bigger size this is size 40 and the price was even better it was only 7.49 and this is even a better brand than the FJ's uh, so you can see the logo on the back it says L, uh, LM let me get some of the light here closer uh, so LM how can we do this Right here so LM stands for loudmouth usually loudmouth would have LM print inside but these ones don't have it but I don't think they're fake I think they're still original they do have the loudmouth tag in on the zipper so that's a good sign and these are expensive pens brand new the more funky the more better patterns you get the more money you can get for them but use pens like these they will go for about 40 to 50 bucks that was a nice find that's why i picked them up and listing shorts is easy you just have to measure the the waist and i also got some more pens uh, these are mountain uh, co-op and these are hiking uh, outdoorsy pens and they do come off like you can make shorts out of them they're cargo but they're removable so I think they're called convertible pants mountain co-op I think they were asking $13 again I had 30% discount uh, so I will sell these for about 35 to 40 bucks and they will go convertible cargo pants uh, very desire desirable people want these so again nice pickup and the last item from the clothing haul was uh, a soccer jersey so this is a uh, authentic adidas soccer jersey no number on the back uh, this is for from the real madrid soccer football club from spain uh, price was 13.99 and uh, there is one listed on ebay right now for about 50 bucks so i might list it for about 40 and has the authentic hologram fifa hologram so this is an older jersey i believe it's from 2012 but still there is lots of soccer fans and I'm gonna post this on eBay and this will go for 30 40 bucks easy money okay so now let me show you some of the vintage uh, hard goods items I picked up so I got double double I got two cameras same almost the same so this one was in the bag and the price was good 399 and this one didn't have a price so I got this one to the cashier with this one and she scanned this one twice so I got this one also for $3.99 and actually this camera in the bag is a little bit better than the other one they're the same model it's the same uh, Minolta AF uh, big finder they have a nice big finder but this one has the date widget on the back 
and the date, date widget might need a special battery by having these batteries to replace it. This one doesn't have the date widget. So I sell these uh, point and shoots cameras on Etsy for about 20 to $25 each. So, and they will go fast. The Minotas are good, Canons are good. I also found another camera in the camera section in the poly bag, five bucks for this one. And this has a nice retro look. This is a Fujika. It's damaged, it has some lots of wear on the body, but I think still desirable camera. I have to test it, make sure it works. And again, this one can bring 25 to $30. Uh, pretty cool camera from the 90s. Okay, next uh, I got an old teapot. This is a copper teapot. It looks like it's super old, but it's just, I think it's just not very old it has a stamp on the bottom made in portugal by tagu so it's not that old it's vintage though it's not antique but the price was right uh, four bucks and this one i'm gonna put this in my antique booth and i can ask 12 bucks for it so i was already there i saw this cheap and i know i can get more money for it so i picked it up and i'm just gonna i just gonna put a sticker on it with the price of 12 bucks and just put it in my antique booth and this is a cool find. Uh, it's a brass uh, cobra snake figurine. So I don't never seen one before like this. And any fancy brass or metal figurines, figurals, uh, go for big money. This one was uh, seven ninety nine. And this cobra snake, I gonna list it and post it on Etsy, and I gonna be asking about forty to fifty dollars. Pretty cool, cool cobra uh, brass snake. Um, next item. So another pickup for the antique mall. I already took the price of this one, but this one was $4.99. It's a small gumbo machine. When you pick them up, make sure this is metal, this is glass. Sometimes the newer ones are plastic. Uh, and the bigger they are, the more money they fetch. I paid five bucks for this. I probably I can get again about 12 to $15 for this jelly bean gumbo machine. And there is also some change in there. So that's a bonus. Uh, so that's gonna go in the antique booth. I think it's too heavy to put on uh, online to, to sell it because shipping is going to cost more than this is worth. So the antique booth gives me some nice options to to pick up. Next, I got this uh, barometer uh, and it measures the humidity and temperature. I picked it up only because it was cheap, three bucks, three ninety nine. It's made in West. Germany so it's vintage and it's pretty cool looking it's different than what you see like the fancy ones it's nice three squares and circles and it has the red for the measurements so I just gonna again go in the antique booth and I'm gonna be asking for this one maybe 20 bucks so easy money this will sell and the next item I picked up is three items and they're all poly bags and I pick this anytime I see them for a good price and this was $1.99. This one was $2.99. The price came off. And the last one was also $1.99. And I got, uh, it's a VHS tapes, blank media, sealed, never used. That's important, VHS tapes. I have four tapes here. So these four will go for about 20 bucks plus shipping. I usually sell them in sets of three. Depends how I find them. Like I have only two here. So these two, I might maybe sell them for 10 bucks plus shipping. And this three, they will go for, uh, again, 20 bucks plus shipping. And this poly bag also had a Texas uh, Instruments TI-30X calculator, which is not worth much money. So this calculator, I'm probably gonna donate back to the thrift store. So I always pick up uh, blank media, VHS tapes, they do sell, I put them on Etsy and even on eBay, and I get about 20 to $15 per three cassettes plus shipping. So people are looking for them and you cannot buy them. You cannot buy them anymore in the stores like in Walmart, they don't carry them anymore. So if people want these cassette tapes and they want to record something on them, they have to go online, eBay or Etsy to, to find them. So that's the market. So that's always a good find to get the cassette tapes and you can find them through stores and yard sales for like next to nothing. So yeah, that's my trip haul from today's thrifting trip. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed it. And I thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Oh, and I want to mention one more thing about the channel. 
So I removed all the lottery games videos uh, because I'm gonna keep this Enter Vintage channel only for reselling, focus only on reselling. And if you wanna watch the lottery videos, I opened a new YouTube channel and it's called Lot of Fun and I'm gonna link it in the description. So make sure you subscribe there because that channel is gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching again and I see you again soon.